In the video for today, I'm going to show you how to block the IMEI number of your lost or stolen phone so that it is not misused. Apart from that, I'm also going to show you how to unblock the IMEI number just in case you get your phone back. Well, if you need to block your phone because you have lost it, blocking the IMA number is what you need to do. Now, if you are based out of India, you may just know that you have a portal online through which you could block IMEI numbers legally. If you are from a different country, you could contact your network provider if you are using an iPhone or an Android device to see what options you may just have. But I want you also to watch my video till the end because you may just get an idea about finding a website similar to this in your location so that you could block the IMEI number. The main thing is, no matter which country you are in, if you have misplaced your phone or lost your phone and you want to block the phone, the first thing is even before you block it, you have to report it to the police station so that later on, if it is misused, you don't get caught up in any kind of a trouble. So the first thing here is to get to the CEIR website on which you could block and unblock IMEI numbers when it is lost or stolen. So in order for you to do that, I want you to just click on this option for CEIR services. You get a drop down menu, click on block stolen or lost mobile if you want to block an IMEI number. Once you do that, you're going to be directed to this page on which you have to fill up this form. In order for you to fill up this form completely, you need to have some prerequisite information like a copy of the FIR after you have misplaced your mobile phone, your current mobile phone number and stuff like that. So here you have to put in the mobile phone number which was on the lost device. Okay, so you put in the phone number so that an OTP goes to that device so that this website or portal can track the device to block it and stuff like that or whatever it is. And then you put in a second number if you were using two SIMs on that lost device. Then you put in the IMA number. Okay, for the first SIM slot and the second IMA number for the second SIM slot. Then you select your device brand, whatever it is, uh, Apple or uh, maybe Android or whatever the brand is. And after you do that, you put in the model name and you upload your invoice for the mobile phone. Now, you may or may not have the invoice. If you have the invoice, that's fantastic. Just upload a photo of the invoice out here. If you do not have one, I suggest you get back to your seller to get an invoice. Okay, you get an invoice, scan it, and then you upload it out here. After you do that, you provide more information, like the place where you lost the phone, the date, the state, district, uh, you know, if you have filed in an FIR, like I told you earlier, you put in the complaint number, upload the FIR copy out here, and you provide your personal information okay you have to also provide your identity proof so that uh, you know these guys actually match your details with the phone that was misplaced because every IMEI number is actually allocated to a specific person when you create an account on a new phone your details get uploaded to that specific IMEI number and that is actually traceable to be very honest with you if not the exact location but the details at least is traceable okay so you put in all the details out here and you put in your current mobile phone number to get an OTP you get an OTP you check boxes declaration and click on submit after you do this within few minutes or a couple of hours or a day or two once the information is verified that this was your mobile phone and all those things that specific phone that was lost is going to be blacklisted so when i say blacklisted it means it's going to be blocked and in a situation wherein you find your phone or you get your phone back you could get onto this website and unblock the ima number again so in order for you to do that, you have to click on this option or this menu button. You click on unblock found mobile and then you get onto this page. You put in the request ID that you would be getting after you request a block on the lost device. Put in that request ID, your mobile phone number and uh, put the reason for unblocking the phone which you found. 
put your phone number again get an otp and then you submit within few hours or whatever the time frame is you are going to get a notification about your phone being unblocked and if you are from a different location for example philippines or usa what you could do is you could do a google search for such websites like ceir of the indian government and you could try and see if you could uh, you know block your phone using its ima number through those guys directly or another option is to report it directly to your mobile phone carrier okay if you are using AT&T in the USA you call up AT&T and then ask them to blacklist your phone or block your sim card so that it is not misused and all those things i hope this makes sense and i hope you got some value out of my video for today if you did give it a thumbs up take care my friend